Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil, and in this React JS video tutorial, we will learn about previous props with hooks. So when we are talking about uh, hooks, that simply means we will use functional components. So we will jump on example, but uh, first of all, let's go through with the points. We will learn what is previous props and why we need them, how we can get it and use them. And uh, the main part of uh, this tutorial is use ref hook. I will show you that uh, everything is controlled by use ref in this video. And uh, after that, uh, I will ask a question. You can attempt this question in comment box. And this is my Instagram account. And uh, you can ask me some question on uh, Instagram or you can ask me question on comment box also. I will reply on uh, both places. So first question is basically what is previous props? So let's say in a component, we are receiving some numerical values. Uh, for example, this is a simple counter on a first click. We are getting a props like one, then two, then three and four and all. But somewhere for my uh, logical way, I need to get my last value of this prop. So let's say my current value is five, but I just want to get my last value, which is four this we can easily imagine when we have a simple counter like one two three and four but this is really get too hard whenever we are just getting some random values right so i cannot get my previous value what i just get in the on a last click so in this video we will learn that how we can get this last value and that we call previous props so now let's get started so first of all i am just going to make my child component and just right here uh, let's say child dot js and uh, we will send some props from app to child and in child component we will get our current value and previous value also and we will try to find the difference in both of them right so just right here import react from react library and uh, then let's uh, just define a function let's say child and uh, let's make a return statement in a return statement what we can do we can we can make a div here and let's put here h1 tag just right here child component and uh, now export default child that's all for that um, for a moment and uh, now let's import it import child from child and now we can use this child component here like that way and now now let's uh, check out the uh, output here you can see that we have a child component text so we don't need this h1 we can remove it for a moment and let's pass some uh, data inside this child component so let me just define a state here const um, just write here count set count and uh, we will use them from destruct from react dot sorry about that use effect and let's say by default value is zero and now let's pass here count is a uh, count state all right and we can receive it here like props so we can just find here count is uh, props dot count so here you can see that we got a zero value because we default by default we have a zero in this counter so now let's uh, make a counter uh, let's make a button on that count that button we will update this counter right just right here date counter and uh, just right here on click function and on click function let's use arrow function and now just right here set count and update it by one so current value plus one will update it whenever I click on it now you can see that we are this is fine so now uh, we can easily guess my previous value let's say uh, for a moment my current state current props is seven and when i click on it now my previous prop is seven right i just want my previous get my previous props as well as my current props but uh, there is a problem 
uh, how I can just get my previous value which is I just removed from here even when we have a simple counter we can guess here because we are uh, just increasing is increasing the value one and we can easily guess that our uh, previous probes will be minus one of our current state current probes but let's say we have some random values right so let me just put here some random values just right here math dot uh, random and uh, multiply it by 10 and it will basically produce some decimal values so let me just uh, uh, use here uh, remove this decimal values just so just put here math dot floor right so now you can see that we are getting random values or uh, not getting random values just let me refresh now you can see that we are getting any random values so how we can get our previous value so for that we need to use here use ref so just import it use ref use effect we also need it use ref again so now let's uh, just take a variable which is uh, let's say last well and uh, extract the mm, use ref here and basically this is a function right now just define here use effect and as you know use effect basically use uh, arrow function so here let's uh, um, just get uh, get its previous value in last value so just simply put here last value dot current you cannot use any other property because in uh, use ref we have a uh, a property with the name of current right so let's use it and just put here props dot count and it will provide last value now you can think that how it can provide last value even at the same place here it will provide the, providing the uh, our current value the reason is because this statement will run before our state up of props is updating right so that it can just show our previous value so let's print it so let me just take uh, one more variable or const const previous props or you can use here small p to maintain some standards and just write here last well dot current and let's take one more uh, you can see that uh, h1 tag and just right here previous props and simply put it like this all right so now let's uh, make it refresh for a moment and now uh, you can see that by default it have nothing whenever we will click on it it have previous value zero so now well we will click or one more our current value will be something uh, else but our last value will be seven here you can see that right so after the click our current value will become the last value now last value will be 3 now last value will be 2 3 0 8 and you can see that this is working fine right so that's the way that how we can get our previous value if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box bye bye take care